Hello and welcome to Megawatt. Rich week, we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. Well, this week we've come down to the firebox and I want one of those Christmas launch parties to see what gadgets and goodies they've got in store for us in the coming months. Okay, so we can't all be James Bond, but with these spy camera glasses, we can at least pretend to be. These look like sunglasses, 1980s sunglasses, granted, but they also have a camera in the side. So using this little gadget on the side, you can surreptitiously take photographs and the camera is actually on the side. So you're taking photographs of exactly what you're seeing. Not sure how that's gonna work out for legal purposes and let's hope they don't get into the wrong hands, but for 89 pounds 99, it's got to be fun and let's all of us pretend to be 007 even for just a day. The pure digital flip gave you a camcorder that was cheap, dirty, accessible, allowed you to create movies on the go without little effort. Move on six months and you get the flip minnow, a small device that yes still has that pop-out USB socket so you can plug it straight into a laptop and a simple interface Look, it's just one big red button. New to the device, you get a rechargeable battery, which obviously takes from the Creative Vado option, which is the main competitor, and a touchscreen interface that, if you sort of move around, gives you instant access to the device. Really simple, really easy to use. This is the Flip Minnow. Who doesn't like Lego? Well, we all do. And I want one of those has picked up on this and made these fantastic retro speakers. The iBlocks connect up to your iPod and the sound you get from the block beneath. And they're tiny, so you can stick them in your pocket and have tunes on the go. Sticking with audio, if we go over here, this is the iJack splitter, which is basically a way of splitting sounds so that two people can listen to music from one device at the same time. And again, it's dinky. You can stick it on your key ring, have it on the go, and it's just $5.99. So you're a bit of a music maestro, but you have a flat the same size as a stamp. So how do you show off your musical skills to your friends? Well, $49.99, you can buy yourselves the piano hands, which basically are gloves that you put on and then you find a flat surface and you can play away to your heart's content. And they don't just do piano, they do other instruments as well. So here we go. music to my ears. You might not be able to tell this, but we're being blown by a very large fan that's beneath the camera for the Firewinder, a device that does nothing. That's right, the idea is the wind pushes this thing round, makes it all very glowy, exciting, and the faster it blows, the more lights you get, the greater the pattern. What's the point? Well, the idea, in a very altruistic way, is to convince you that wind creates power. Who would have thought it? The more this blows, the bigger the lights. It's all very exciting. Now, this is one concept, £100, available on firebox.com currently. The idea is that this is just the starting point of something that's much bigger and much more environmentally friendly. At the bottom of this case, which basically is a dynamo that's powering these lights, that if I stop this, or go out, they hope to add rechargeable batteries. They hope to add a, the ability to be a power source for your garden. Whatever you think of it, the company is hoping that this will become the lava lamp of the 21st century. So your boss has just subjected you to the most mind-numbingly boring meeting in the world ever. And you want to get your revenge, but without getting arrested. So you sneak back to your desk and you turn on one of these. This is the USB Golfer, which you can connect up to your computer. It has the software so that you can select which club you're gonna use, also how hard you're gonna hit the ball, and the height so you can make sure you get your boss right on the noggin. But if golf isn't your thing, we also have a whole host of other USB gadgets. You can see the hacked USB, which is actually 
a USB flash drive. You've also got the USB spotlight, which is a spotlight. And then of course, for Star Wars fans, the R2-D2 USB hub. And if you're a fan of being able to send movies to your friends, be able to talk to your friends online, then you've also got the movie cam webcam, which again, could make sitting at a desk and working a lot more exciting than it is at the moment. For £12.99, you can get your mitts on one of the free loader solar power chargers. But let's face it, we live in the UK and it's not sunny that often. So instead, you could fork out on one of these, which is £29.99. This is the Minikin wind power generator, which does what it says on the box. It basically generates power from wind. So when you're out and about and it's a gusty autumnal day, you can power up your iPod, your iPhone, or whatever you want. It might not seem much, but this little silver box with green lighting is actually a mini projector that allows you to throw an image of 50 inches on a white screen or in fact any surface you can find anywhere you happen to be. Aptec have come up with a unit that's 300 pounds, has one gig of built-in storage, a further eight gig of SD card capabilities and allows you to play movies on the go at 50 inches inside from a device that's very small. We're going to show you how it looks. There's a little focus button so you can make it sure it works. Press the play button and that's it. I'm watching movies. I don't have a screen. All I have is a device that's this size. Now Pico projectors are coming out from Toshiba hopefully in early 2009. There's a model that's coming out later on this year in 2008. Up against the Pico projector, which we've already featured on Megawatt before, this version from 3M is available next month. It will cost you 300 pounds. And as the picture quality we're seeing here shows, actually, it's quite good. If you can't wait till 2009 for the smaller Pico models, this will do you quite nicely for Christmas. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Why don't you tune in next time for more news, reviews, tips, tricks, opinions, and much more. This is Megawatt TV. I'm Stuart Miles. Thanks for watching.